The Chapter a Day Audio Bible is a listener-supported podcast. If you'd like to make a small gift to help us cover the cost of hosting and production, please click the crowdfunding link in this episode's description or visit us at desirejesus.com slash podcasts. You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're reading Psalms 33 and 34. And we'll be reading from the English Standard Version. Shout for joy in the Lord, O you righteous. Praise befits the upright. Give thanks to the Lord with the lyre. Make melody to Him with the harp of ten strings. Sing to Him a new song. Play skillfully on the strings with loud shouts. For the word of the Lord is upright, and all His work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. By the word of the Lord the heavens were made, and by the breath of his mouth all their host. He gathers the waters of the sea as a heap. He puts the deeps in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and it came to be. He commanded, and it stood firm. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He frustrates the plans of the peoples. The counsel of the Lord stands forever, the plans of His heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom He has chosen as His heritage. The Lord looks down from heaven. He sees all the children of man, From where he sits enthroned, he looks out on all the inhabitants of the earth. He who fashions the hearts of them all and observes all their deeds. The king is not saved by his great army. A warrior is not delivered by his great strength. The war horse is a false hope for salvation, and by its great might it cannot rescue. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him on those who hope in his steadfast love, that he may deliver their soul from death and keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart is glad in him, because we trust in his holy name. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. Psalm 34, of David, when he changed his behavior before Abimelech, so that he drove him out, and he went away. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant, and their faces shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and delivers them. O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him have no lack. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, O oh children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil, and your lips from speaking deceit. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous, and his ears toward their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the memory of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. 
Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones, not one of them is broken. Affliction will slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the privilege of being able to look at it together today. And we thank you, Lord, for the words that we see in the Psalms that we just read, reminders to revere and respect you, to fear you in the sense that we honor you and we acknowledge your power. Lord, we're grateful for the fact that when you look at us, you look at us with compassion, and you show us mercy even though we don't deserve it. Lord, we know that ultimately we are not righteous in and of ourselves, but through faith in your Son, Jesus Christ, you grant us your righteousness. You have shown us your favor, and you have blessed us in so many ways. And Lord, it's beautiful to be able to see how this section that we just read concludes, where it just tells us here that you redeem the life of your servants, and that no one who takes refuge in you will be condemned. Lord, we're grateful for the fact that, that ultimately our pain and our shame and our condemnation was experienced by Jesus Christ, who took those things upon himself so that through faith in him we could live forever, forgiven completely, and cleansed of all unrighteousness. Lord, thank you for making that possible for us. And we pray that throughout the course of this day we would be mindful of your presence with us. We love you, Lord. We just thank you for all these things, and we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again for listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. For more resources to help you in your walk with Christ, please visit us online at desirejesus.com.